routine down and just to take the edge off that brilliant performance. Sharon I ducks through the archives. We've got this number for you. If you know the words of the music and I'm sure some of you do, you can sing along with us. It goes like this.
No fucking money. <laughs> we work for nothing. <laughs> I was going to do a door prize at the moment, but I um, haven't organised myself to get the tickets done. So um, I can psychically draw a number out of the air or um, you can do two prizes the next show. What do you want? Next show. Next show. All right, be like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. I've just got to tell you, I was having a conversation with friends out there, we were talking about boyfriends, ex-boyfriends, obviously there's a reason they're an ex. I used to go out with an Irish guy at one stage. Boy, was he thick. <laughs> no, family, it was the same thing. They were a bloody weird lot. I went there for Christmas one year, and his mother had put fucking ball bearings in the Christmas pudding. Oh, that's a bit weird. You know, because I felt something in my mouth, I thought, oh, it might be thruppets. Oh, it's put on the side of the plate, didn't think anything about it. Ten minutes later, my boyfriend's little brother came and said, Mummy, 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 something dreadful's happened. I said, what is it, darling? He said, I went to go over this way, and he said, and I pushed, and I pushed, this shiny thing popped out. He said, oh, don't worry, it's probably for the steam pudding. I went to see her ten minutes later, I said, oh, listen, Mum, I'm really so embarrassed. I said, I really don't have to explain this to you. The most dreadful things happened. She said, I know. And he tried to have a wee and a ball bearing popped out. I said, I wish it was that fucking civil darling. I was at the back having a wank and I just shot your cat. <laughs>